Welcome to my sewing room. I'm so excited that you're going to join me on this tour of this special room where I love to be so creative and where I spend a lot of my time. Not only do I do all of my sewing, quilting, and embroidery here, but this room also serves as my office, so I have to have office supplies right along with all of my fabric, thread, and notions. I'd like to show you around my sewing room, and maybe you can gain some ideas for your own room. I like to keep everything as organized as possible. That helps me sew to the best efficiency that I can. Get as much as I can accomplished in the little bit of time that I have. I know, keeping everything organized and everything in its place is the hardest thing to do in a sewing room. But that is my goal. It doesn't always get accomplished, but that's always my objective. And I have to admit, I'm the exact same way. When I'm currently working on a project, especially if I have a deadline for it, I will have fabric all over the place. My instruction books, my journals are scattered all over the floor. I have threads out. I have notions scattered. Everything is completely a mess. But as soon as I have time and am done with that project, I put everything back in its place. So when I start something new, I'm starting with a clean, fresh slate. And it's easy that I know where everything is in my sewing room again. I'm very privileged that I have a large sewing room where I can store just about everything I need in it. Not everyone has that. And I have to say, when I first started sewing, my room was very, very small also. The advantage that a small sewing room has is you can stand about in the middle and reach everything. If I stood in the middle of my old sewing room, I had my sewing machine here, my ironing board here, my books and notebooks here, and my fabric here. I could reach it. Everything was in reach. When you have a larger sewing room, you have to be a little bit more organized so you can get to your tools and notions very handy and make it easy for you when you're sewing or working at your ironing board or at your cutting table. There's different ways that you can accomplish that, and I'm going to show you some of the ways and some of the things I have done. These are just my ideas, what I like to do, and what works for me. Some of them may work for you, some of them may not. And, but hopefully, you'll be able to get some ideas that maybe you can incorporate into your own sewing room. We're going to briefly go around the room, and I'm going to show you where I keep everything in my sewing room. Later on, I'll go into detail and show you how I did everything, and why I like it where it so is. So come on, and take a peek into my sewing room. Let me give you a quick 360 degree view of my sewing room. First of all, we'll start with my ironing board here, message board at the top, then I have bookcases which I store things, I have clear drawers where I store things, more bookcases with totes up at the top, keep turning around and I have totes there at the end of the room where I store my projects, I have a closet, that's what the blue is there, my cutting table there, as I'm continuing to turn, I have all my threads stored under that fabric. Here, I have my computer. I have notes. The wall is the best place for those, you know. Then I have my embroidery machine, my sewing machine, and my serger. Continue to turn around, and I'm back at my ironing board. The first thing that you see when you walk into my sewing room is my ironing board. I have a really wide and long ironing board, but that makes it very easy to press large pieces of fabric. Right now it's shoved up against the wall. I can just pull out this end if I need to, and it's much easier to iron my pieces of fabric. Or when I'm not using it, just store it, shove it back, and it's stored there out of the way. Above my ironing board, I have a chalkboard message board, which is hanging up here. And I have a bulletin board where I can store notes and some tools that I'm using when I'm ironing board. I have two bookcases where I have a lot of things stored. Above this, this bookcase, I have my CD radio player, and I have CDs and my embroidery cards and CDs, which I've stored in these cases, making them very, very easy to get to. Then above this one, I have totes that are labeled with both some of my basic sewing supplies that I use the most frequently. The one thing I like about these bookcases and the way I actually made these is I made these with a fabric cover. So I can close them, hide everything that's inside, or I can open them and easily get to what I need to inside there. So let's open this one up. I can draw it open and I can latch it over here and hold it. Up here at the top I have computer CDs, scraps of interfacing and things that I need that are right by my ironing board. 
I have some shelving here with um, some business paperwork and other stamps, little notions I need for uh, office supplies. Then down here I have starch, I have cleaners, everything that I would need next to my ironing board, some rags and things for that. And down below on the last two shelves I have ordering books, supply books, um, different things that I can refer back to for whatever I'm looking for that I'm going to be sewing or quilting. When I'm done getting things that are inside, I can just close this bookcase up. Just like that. Then everything's enclosed and it looks much nicer. The second bookcase, I'm going to open up and show you what's inside. Latch it here. In this bookcase, I have some books. I have all my magazines here that I have to read, that I have 